Welcome to Ace Hardware. My name is Dom. This is where we get all of our parts. My name is Ethan. This is where we get our big bad tools. My name is Theo. Okay, well, what's this little funny thing? Well, this here is a rivet, and you use a rivet to connect two pieces of metal. You can use this rivet gun here. This is what we call a press fit bearing. There's a flange here. And if you have a material, you can press into it, and it should stay fairly secure. The conventional way is you have a regular nut, and you have a split washer. This is has a cut down the middle, and you just tighten it onto the material. And this has a nautic insert in it, so when you tighten it down, it won't be able to jiggle off. See, the difference is in the heads. Uh, this has a much smaller head, so it's much easier to strip off. Well, this one has a much bigger and bulkier head, so it's much harder to strip off. Okay, so what are the different uh, materials used for? This stainless right here corrodes the, the, the least copper. It's the most expensive of the three here. And then you have this zinc one. And the zinc one is a little less expensive compared to the stainless steel, but and, and also has a little less corrosion. Hey, look at these washers! Did you know that these are used? to spread the force so that they don't damage the material. Yeah, and look, you can get so many different types. I know. Wow. Despite your best efforts, you might still be using metric in your robot. So it's important to keep in mind how to find it, where it is, and why you use it. Okay. So these materials have a lot of flexibility in that, for instance, the all thread, uh, uh, you make the top part, you can smooth out the top part, make it look similar to this round Use a hacksaw to cut the all thread to the length you want, you want to make the bolts. Here we have an angle of iron. Uh, here we have a round, sock, square, uh, flats, and another angle of iron. And here in this section, we have uh, aluminum material. Along with this section, we have iron material, and then here we have the specialty material. Again, all of this uh, is really inexpensive compared to the Tetrix uh, material, and then you can create your own uh, material using this. You can create to the side you want. Well, it's right here, and there's also these metal pulleys. Look at those hinges there. Those might be useful. Uh, here we have wheels, there's leg tips, so potential hooks. We got, we got twine, this is some real good stuff. We got any color, this is real nice stuff, good for crafts. We got highlights, you know, you can, you can use it to make sure your marking tear cord. This is really stretchy, it's also very strong. It's used for, very useful for lifting. And now on this side, we got turnbuckles. We got bungees, bungees, bungees. Find the different wires. You can use these wires for organizational purposes. You can color code them. See that number for the gauge, and the bigger the number, the smaller the wire. Well, this is a lubricant aisle. We got several different types of lubricants. We got silicon. It's very useful. Useful for uh, gears and whatnot. Also got a personal favorite, WD-40. It's very useful for cutting fluid. If you don't have cutting fluid all around, this is the best next best thing. Also got white lithium. Another good thing for gears. Just keeps them lasting longer and work better. Okay, back here we got some uh, connectors. We have a pink, sh pink shrink here. It protects the wires. If it touches another metal surface while it's powered, it'll short out and it might cause a fire. So using heat shrink will keep that from not happening. Here are the different wire strippers. You got your, your standard one, uh, and here you got your automatic one. Most people think that plumbing probably wouldn't be used for robotics. However, over here, there's ins installation. You can use this for bumpers. Over here, the P PP pipes, and you can use those for building any frame that, that you want. There's coils over here. There's all sorts of stuff you can use. You wouldn't think plastic, clear plastic, would be useful for a robot, but if you need to protect electrical components of your robot and need to see them, this is the best thing. We got metal shears right here. Back here, we got some chisels. Over here we got some saw horses used for placing things. Right here we got some clamps. They're really useful for keeping things in place. We got safety glasses, always useful. 
safety goggles. She's got tons of screwdrivers over here. You have adjustable wrenches. You got wrenches. Different type of saws. Specifically, this is really useful. The hacksaw. And here we got different types of uh, variety of rulers. We got tape, magnetic material. Now here we got uh, some some blades. Then coming over here, we got some hammers. And again, so we got uh, roll tape. And you got sockets and screwdrivers and wire cutters and adjustable wrenches and pliers and a wrench. All right, so over here we got some butane torches. We got some little boys right here, some butane fuels. Got some bigger ones, real thick. Here we got all the Dremel bits. Painter tape, we got blue tape, we got Gorilla tape. We got duct tape, so much variety here. But if you're in a robot robotic competition and something goes wrong with your robot, the best friend is gonna be gorilla tape. Here we got super glue, all of this section of super glue. Over here we got more epoxy. Epoxy is really useful, it's clear, and it sets in pretty strongly. It's useful if you don't need the structure necessarily, you need the, the strength of, of the adhesive. My favorite thing is this JB Weld. Essentially, it's two chemicals. You mix them together, and it will make a semi-metallic, well, a fake metallic substance that we use to fill holes. So, if you install a hole, you need to refill it, or you need to fill it. You buy some of this bad boy, squirt it on the hole, and it will just repair. We got some hot glue, we got some real thick boys, we got some smaller ones, we got all the hot glue materials you need. The Gorilla brand, we adhesive, it's real strong. That will help us. So this is super glue. It's fast and soft setting, or fast and slow setting ones. This is all fast. Also get slow setting, and that's a lot more strong, a lot more sturdy. But fast is a lot easier to use. Boy, you see some real big tools. Ace is where they come.